morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's me. No, it's not an imposter. Uh, I have been off of all my social media, including YouTube, for a few months now. And before we get into the video, I'll just do a very quick uh, update for you guys, because I know you're all here for fall decor. Yes, you are, and to see what I got. Now, uh, just quickly, I just want to say thank you to everyone who had sent me sweet messages and words of encouragement and checking on me. Basically, if you're not familiar or you're new to my channel, I kind of had, especially if you're following me on Instagram, you would have known I was just on quite a long hiatus and I basically was having, I would call, a bit of a breakdown. This year has been pretty tough emotionally and uh, professionally and lots going on and just basically um, I needed to get rebalanced and find that and figure out how to get back to connecting with myself and in essence I've been going through therapy as well as walking and I usually walk to work anyways but I started incorporating an hour to two hours every day walking outside and just finding a way to connect to kind of reconnect with nature as I'm a very big outdoor person I grew up camping and being a girl guide and brownies brownies girl guides and pathfinder um, throughout my elementary entry through to high school days and so I was always in nature and I just feel like I felt like I was missing something and feeling overwhelmed so basically I just you know and then there's been other things going on uh, in my life and just really was feeling a huge disconnect uh, from me and so I've just been going through some things and in essence, just getting back to who I am. I'm back. I've been starting to um, post on Instagram and I thought what better way of um, getting back into uh, filming and being on uh, my YouTube channel than with a fall decor haul. So I had posted a pic because I ended up going to Pier 1 this past weekend, and I wasn't planning on that. But, you know, when it comes to decor, especially seasonal, like fall and Christmas are my two favorite times of the year to decorate. Uh, fall is really fun because of the colors and so much that you can uh, find and see, and it's always changing. I love that. Uh, yes, I went in there, and the lady told me everything in the store was 15% off, including sale items. Wasn't planning on buying anything, like zero. And then I just, as I always do, walk in the store and find things and found... Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> yes. I found a bunch of stuff and I'm going to share it with you. And when I posted a picture on Instagram saying, would you guys be excited to see this? You all said yes. So let's get into the video. And again, thank you so much to everyone who has been patient with me and very supportive. I really do appreciate it. Um, and it does mean a lot. And uh, just me getting back into filming and creating content here on my YouTube channel. And I really do. Um, I'm, I'm just very grateful um, that any of you have continued to stay subscribed to my channel and watch my content and follow me on Instagram. So thank you to that. And let's get into the video. Okay, so where to start? I'm looking at everything and I'm very... I'm very excited to share. So, hmm, hmm, where should I start? I don't know, let's just start wherever. I saw this gorgeous ceramic pumpkin and they had two different sizes. They had this one and then they had a larger one that was shorter. Uh, it was actually quite a bit larger, but I really like the taller one and it's not quite as big, but I like the, it's, it's a cream colored and then this really beautiful, almost like a pewter color. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it and it's kind of got the cracked glass like on the ceramic that's got I just I love that and kind of you'll see the few things and even in the last year or two I've really transitioned even with my Christmas decor uh 
items that kind of got a woodland feel or have that kind of look. I don't know. I'm just really, I like that. It, like I said, I'm really love nature and the outside. So I really want, been wanting to incorporate more of that, um, that kind of style into my home during the season. So I love this. It's gorgeous. This was $24.99 and again, the 15% off. So I think that is beautiful. I then found this a really cute little happy harvest plaque. You could hang it. It does have a little um, notch on the back, a hook, and this was, oh, the receipt is off, but I believe the sticker was $13.99, and then the, everything is 15% off, so I'm not going to keep saying that, but just so you know, and I love it. It's got the little burlap bow, and I just, I'm really into this. I just love the little saying, happy harvest, and it's a little metal on there, and again, the whitewash loving that on the wood and I believe this is just that MDF pressed board but it makes it you know look like wood which I really love decor pieces like this and then uh, there's a little wooden dowel for the stem because I think that's such a cute little pumpkin rustic whatever you want to call it so cute now I always have to get a pumpkin or two I, you know I already got the ceramic pumpkin but then I saw this set of three this is mini they call them mini pumpkins there's three assorted I guess you could say and they're wooden I, I love that and that they have a kind of a cream white cream color uh, orange your standard pumpkin color and then almost it's like a not quite a mint green but that kind of almost a I don't know what you want to call a whitewash green does that even make sense I don't know and then the little stems are metal and I love the size of of these pumpkins and I thought you could either put the trio together on a table or um, you know I have a couple different areas that I might either keep it together or I might separate the pumpkins and uh, I have ideas for that so I haven't quite decided if I want to keep them together or separate them and put them in uh, with other decor but I just thought they were so cute they had them on display and I just really really fell in love and these were uh, $17.99 I never know if you guys want to know the prices of things some people say yes and other times I forget to tell the prices so I don't know sometimes I get embarrassed because I spend money on things and but at the end of the day who freaking cares it's my money not yours you can just judge me I've said that many times whatever now I can't help but love this bicycle I haven't seen anything like it. Now, I realize you, this little part is for a, a, to put a picture, I guess. You could even put a card, which I guess would be cute. But they had these near the checkout, and I tell you, I think this is the cutest little old style old fashioned bicycle. And then it has in the basket, it has little fall flowers. This was $12.99, and I just think this is so darn cute. I don't know, the white and then the brown frame, but then it's got kind of the rustic um, kind of the metal because it is a metal um, frame that it's kind of worn off. I just think this is the cutest thing ever. I've never seen anything like that. The little flowers are so darn cute, and I know exactly where this will go and it's so cute. I thought it would be really adorable on my um, on my tray in my living room. I just think it's so stinking cute. Like it's in fake moss that's in the basket and you can't get much cuter than a bicycle with, oh, I had a casualty of flowers falling on the ground. Things like that scare me. Let's take it down a notch, take a deep breath and move on because now I forgot what I was talking about. What fell were, well, I guess they're not flowers, they're leaves. These are gorgeous and they just call them a coaster, like they've got a velvet on the back and I didn't even think of that as coasters because I'm using them as decor, but I love it. There's a bit of glitter in them and I got three because I have a specific idea of how I'm going to incorporate these, but aren't these gorgeous? 
like they're beautiful. They were each $2.99, which I thought was pretty good. You could definitely DIY this. Go to Dollar Tree, Dollarama, or your local dollar store and glue some up and, you know, cut out some backing and do that. I just thought of that. You could certainly do that, but for $2.99, but you could definitely make your own, which I just thought of now, but sometimes, you know, you see really pretty flowers or leaves like this and you just say, hey, it goes with what I'm doing and I got 15% off anyway, so mm-hmm now i am a sucker i'm obsessed whatever you want to call it for cute coasters i always have a set on my dining room um or pardon me my living room in the tray i love to have coasters because i'm one of those that if you do come to my house i will be one of these that watches you to make sure you're putting your drink on a coaster because we have wood furniture and I just am very I don't want it to have water ring from the glass sorry but yes I am one of those so I was walking around and saw these adorable set of four in the pumpkin and they say hello fall and the set of four was $17.99 and it says to clean with a soft damp cloth and then they have little felt um on the back so they don't move around but they are so cute with the little design again uh, you probably might be able to find these as a you know maybe do it as a diy but i want to just show you i took a, one of them out so darn cute i love it and it makes it look like it's wood and that it has you know the the slots which it doesn't it's just been made to look that way with the paint like i think that is extremely cute and even if you didn't want to you know put them as the set you could put them in different spots and even put a little on a little easel in your entryway just like that because no one would know that's a coaster so you could could totally do these as decor i just think they're so darn cute like i can't get over how realistic that looks like it would be wood when it's completely pressed mdf board like that's I just the things you can do with crafts is amazing. So I had to get these. Now when I was walking around and and they have at my Pier One, they have a back shelf, a couple back shelves that are taller, and they always, you know, incorporate, you know, seasonal decor uh on these shelves. And I happened to look up and see this, these fake birch trees. And I was like, isn't that genius? And then when I was looking at it, I looked at the bottom and saw this was just down on, you know, to purchase. I was like, oh my gosh. And then I realized they come as a set of three and they call them pillars. I don't know. They had them out and I thought how gorgeous. It even has like the fake, you know, wood on there and to make it like the wood shavings to make it really look like birch i love like it's just absolutely gorgeous so i thought how beautiful would this look on my dining room table as my centerpiece and i just thought that would be amazing and then i got the idea when i saw these leaves that it would look really pretty just i you know i was trying to decide do i want to put something on top at this point i'm not going to but then when i saw these coasters I just thought they looked absolutely gorgeous and just to keep it simple with just the pillars and then just add something around uh, with, you know, leaves, foliage, uh, you know, at the bottom and just keep this as the... Um, centerpiece for your eye. I just, I fell in love with these pillars and I haven't seen anything like it. And you could do a lot of different things with these, but because I like to decorate in threes, I thought that was perfect. And these did retail for $45.95. So this was one of the more expensive items that I did purchase, but I just, I love them. I'm also obsessed with pillows and, uh, you know, they had their pillows on sale. I saw this 
pumpkin farm five miles it's embroidered with a gorgeous you know it doesn't have that bright yellow or bright orange part of me and I love the detail around the the pillow and I ended up getting I got two of them. These weren't badly priced. They were $19.99, and then I think it was buy one, get one, 50% off. So I thought they each worked out to $10 a piece with the sale. Can't really go wrong with that. And I love the, the burlap twine that it has. And these are the perfect size. It's, I always find it's hard for me to find really cute throw pillows or covers for existing pillows that I have that are this size for my, my uh, couch in my living room. So these will go really beautifully uh, on my couch because I've been trying to find for years really small, like smaller, you know, throw pillows or covers, you know, to put on, on pillows I already have and I haven't had much luck. So I scooped this up. They had two, I think they had three or four of them, but I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love everything about the pillows and I thought, I'm gonna get those. Now, when I was walking around, I always look in there um, where they have their dishes and different trays, all of that, and I saw this, and it was on display on the table, uh, just like this. And what I fell in love with was, first of all, the color, and then the legs, but this. It says grateful, I love the coloring, I love the detail, and right away I thought, yes, you could totally have it like this, but immediately I thought of it as a display plaque. So you could do a lot of different things with this tray, but what I love is the saying of grateful and that it's great, like it's carved in and the detail of the scalloping around the, um, the tray itself and then it's like this, um, cream colored throughout and that this would just and then it leans on the feet and works perfectly as a plaque is what I'm going to do and when the sales lady was you know taught I was talking with her I told her my idea and she says that's actually how we originally had it displayed was up like this because I thought it's so many uses for this type of item, which I love when you can find items that are multi-purpose, that will give you years and years and years of use, and you can incorporate it in so many different ways. This was the most expensive item I purchased. It was $64.95, again, you get the discount, but sometimes there's things like this. It's a good size, it's completely solid, and, it's not like even the feet are not just glued like it's on there like this is a very solid piece so i thought this was a really really good investment that i can do so many different things with as years go on and i will be loving this so it was the only one i saw and i scooped it up and decided you know i've said this many times in previous videos and hauls and all of that that it, sometimes there's investments investment pieces that you're willing to pay more for because you can incorporate them and do different things not just one and when i saw this it just immediately i said yes it's more money but at the end of the the day um I just thought I will get a lot of um, use out of this and be able to do so many different ways to incorporate it. So I love that. Now, two years ago, or was it last year? No, it was two years ago, I believe. I picked up uh, Mr. Moose from Pier One and you guys love him and I've incorporated him through fall, through even my Christmas decor. I think I did that last year. If not, it was the year before. Then I was in there and again, they have the cutest woodland animals. I saw this guy and come on, he is not as large as Mr. Moose. He was the only one there. Immediately I thought, this is M Mr. Moose's buddy. So I have named him MB for Moose Buddy. And he's actually has a little ribbon around his neck and he's holding some fall foliage. And he again has the soft little stomach area and his little velvet, he's got, oh, it's, it is, it's velvet lips. Isn't that cute? And his nostrils and his little ears. 
he's a smaller version. He is so darn cute. And he was $23.99, but I'm telling you, I love Mr. Moose. Now Mr. Moose has a buddy. This is MB, everybody. And he has a big brother now. And I just think he's so cute and i can't wait to put the incorporate the two together and bring out mr moose but yes i love it I, I i just i can't get enough of looking at him and he's even got the velvet on his paw on his on his feet actually oh his hooves so cute i just love these kinds of things what wouldn't be a fall haul fall time whatever without a new fall mug and Pier 1 gets me every time with their fall mugs. You, I can't wait to bring them out. They always have amazing ones, and this is no exception. They may have had this in previous years, but I didn't pay attention to it because I'm distracted by everything else. But this time, this one says Autumn Bliss. I really love the detail and the painting that's done on the, the mug itself. The colors are really pretty. Like, it's not your typical orange pumpkins but more of the cream with you know the light green there's even a light blue pumpkin which I think is great this really cute little wheelbarrow if you want to call it well, I don't think it I don't know if that's what you want to call it that's what I'm going to call it as and I love like the crinkle look and then on the back you've got a couple pumpkins with a gourd on there and this one is a 17 ounce mug which is perfect it's dishwasher safe and uh, safe for the microwave and this was $7.99 which I think is pretty good price um, for a mug this size and again when I'm looking for mugs I like to have where my hand can fit through and I can't wait to start using this it's so so cute isn't it let me know and me and my mug obsession, I just, it just never ends and takes a lot for me to just rein that in. There you go, my fall decor haul for 2018. Holy cow, where is summer going? It's hard to believe. It just keeps going and going and going and soon it'll be Christmas and all of that and then we're into 2019 and holy before you know it five years from now then I turn 50 and help me yeah I just need to take it one day at a time and go from there so thank you so much guys for watching and for being patient with me and I really do hope that you enjoyed seeing my uh, fall goodies that I found this will be my one and only haul that I will be doing here because I'm not buying any more uh, fall decor that was it that was actually even too much but I couldn't help myself no more. And uh, I really can't wait to decorate and, uh, you know, do my home tour for the fall for you guys. And I think what I want to do is also share and do a video of uh, come decorate with me fall edition and just pick a space in my house. And I'm thinking I'm going to do my... Um, front door area and do that with you guys and just do a very informal decorate that up um because i've added a couple new pieces out in the front door that i'm really excited to incorporate seasonally and i have some ideas for that so i thought that would be a fun video so let me know in the comments below if you're excited for fall and many of you are and it tends to be uh many including myself a fun time of the year for many reasons but you know if you decorate it's always beautiful to incorporate fall into your house it just brings the outdoors in which is always what i try to do um in my own home so i will see you guys in the next video and uh thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye guys have to be so cute yes you're just so darn cute yes